Thank you for getting my me my ship back, Furum. It may have been half wrecked, but my crew and I got it shaped up to to almost proper working order in no time, Vur. I wish you good luck in finding whomever it is you're searching for. Weep. Come visit again. You're welcome anytime. Weep. Hey everybody, welcome back to Pal another Pal plays Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we defeated Tenelis. And in this episode, we're going to head to Skyloft. But first, since we're probably never going to be around here again, I said that I would show you guys that one island that we never went to. And also, we are we are going to do the mining carts minigame. So I will cut to those locations in three, two, one, go. Okay, um, I am at the... North Eastern Island, Northeastern location, and it wasn't anything before. I didn't show this, but it was not anything before. It was literally just a pier, but now it is the sand ship, as you can see here. And they have completely repaired it in probably about 10 minutes or an hour. So my guess is magic through Nehru's Flame. But either way, that's some really powerful magic. Okay. I'm going to cut back to when we are uh, here. I'll be right back. Okay, we are here. We are at the uh, the shipyard, and let's go ahead and talk to Gortram. Hey, Gortram. Hey, you. What are you doing? Well, you are here now. So how about a little a little fun? Fun. No, I like how the choice is no way. <laughs> Fun's too mainstream. Got your attention, eh? Gehe. <laughs> Let me explain. Mm. This here is a race against time. St uh, scream across that finish line as fast as you can. Tilt the Wiimote to lean your cart. If you lean at just the right angle in the corner, you'll get a nice speed boost. Lose your concentration when you're cruising around a bend, though, and you'll run, st uh, you'll run right off the rails. If that happens, you lose the race. And also your life. What do you say? Have you got the guts to ride the rickety coaster? Just 20 rupees a ride. Sure. Uh, we're going to start with uh, the heart stomping. Or I actually misread this for a while and always called it heart stomping. <laughs> uh, memories. So you want the heart stomping track, eh? You got it. But I just hope you are ready. Alright, let's get let, let us get going. Let's get our heart stomped, baby. Okay, so this is time trials. The um the heart stopping tour, which if it sound it feels really weird to call it heart stopping and not stomping. It's base it's just a time trial of the mine tracks. The heart stopping one is the first uh the first track you come across and it is the it's the easier one. And the scary one is the second track you come across that we actually had to slow down. And again, if you want to beat our time, you can. Also, it says the best time is 10 minutes in the upper right hand corner. Is it even possible to get that slow of a time? I, I, I wonder. And we're doing well. Like, I thought I was going to lose traction there for a second, but we didn't. So we're going to come down here, turn right. Right. And left. Right. And leap. And leap. Uh, I didn't manage to do our, spe our special double leap, but we did pretty well. Actually, I was wrong. The heart-stopping one is the hard one, and the scary one is the easy one, which is weird why they put the hard one first and the easy one second. That's what confused me. But, yeah. And actually, by achieving this time, I believe we got a piece of heart. Whoa, that was unbelievable. Even I can't go... I, even I cannot go that fast. I actually want him to see him ride one of those. Here you go. I found this treasure right on this very island. And here's our piece of heart. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time. And I wanna beat beat my time, okay. 
Yeah, I'm I'm ready. Because I want to beat my time. Jump! I didn't do the jump. Man, that was horrible. Okay, we're not going to do it again. And for some reason, my parents let my German Shepherd in here. So, I honestly don't know why he's in here. What are you doing, dog? <laughs> he's just kind of looking around like, why are why am I in here? Now he's now he's crying. Stop crying, goon. His name's Knight, by the way. It's a uh, K N K N I G H T. Knight, be quiet. It's you know spelt like a knight in shining armor, you know. And actually, <laughs> um, yeah, he's he has a cool name. It's. Okay, uh, okay, uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh yes, we're going to Skyloft. I, I forgot, because night is distracting me. Stop crying, dog. I'll have to talk to my parents about letting the dog in here. Ugh. Okay, so we have, let's see, we have... Five side quests that are po that I'm not sure if they're possible to do right now. Um, but first things first, we're actually going to head over um, to the Isle of Songs to get the song thing out of the way. I think that makes the most sense because um, because it might trigger some side quests that wouldn't have been triggered otherwise. So that's our course of action. And I'll actually, because we have a lot to do this episode, I'll meet you back. I'll meet you at the Isle of Songs. Be right back. Okay, we're here. And that was a close landing. So, let's, without further ado, get our next song with our awesome sword that is my favorite sword in this game because white is one of my favorite colors. Well... Technically, white isn't one of my favorite colors. It's this kind of iridescent, incandescent, bluish white. That That's the kind of white I like. Okay. Backflip. Jump tack. And it would have been funny if we fell off. In fact, that's what I should have done. Because we still would have hit it. In fact, this is our last song, isn't it? Oh, well, too bad. If that does something cool, I'd want to see. Now, I'll go ahead and shut up for the cutscene. <sighs> Master Link, I have important information. When you struck the crest with the Skyward Strike from your sword, a message from the Goddess awakened deep within my memory. The Goddess intended this message for you, Master. These are her words. He who seeks the sacred flames, listen well, for I am the one guiding you from my place at the edge of time. The last of the sacred flames still eludes you. To obtain it, you must, you must claim another sacred gift. For each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with another gift. Make use of the power of these gifts, and you'll most certainly find a path to the sacred flames. Now, I bestow, I bestow unto you another melody. Let it serve as a key to unlocking your final trial. It awaits you upon Elden Volcano.
According to my records, that song you just heard is called Din's Power. Use this song of might to locate the last trial. You learn Din's Power! I've committed Din's power to my memory. Now you have the ability to use dowsing to locate the gate to the final trial. I suggest you travel to Elden Volcano. Okay, now that we've gotten that out of the way, what we want to do is do what we have done every single time we have visited the Isle of Songs, and that is check on that one island that I always check on every time we visit the Isle of songs <laughs> that was strangely worded on my part and I apologize so it's over here there it is it's right there we lost for a second it's straight ahead I think yeah there it is okay Th that island will this island will be important to us later much later okay hopefully what I want to be here is here, because I want it to be here. And is it? We will see, we will see, will we see? No, we will not see. It is not here. So, let's continue on to the two goddess chests in the sky. Um, one is here, right there. I went ahead and placed beacon on that. And the other one is here. So, let's go. Okay, we are here, and let's go ahead and drop down. And go ahead and equip the claw shot, because we have to claw shot past this, this grate. I guess you could call it a grate. And drop down, and grab the chest. And inside, I'm guessing, is a metal. I'm pretty sure it's a metal. Yes, it is. This is the potion metal. I will explain this. Yeah, the pou our pouch is full. Okay. And actually, we should go to the f item check to flirt with that girl again anyway. Um, so, the potion metal. Now, as you know, certain potions have certain effects. We haven't... S the, only, um, the only potion so far that we've seen that has a timer is the stamina potion. Now... When you have the treasure metal in your inventory, I believe it doubles the amount of time that that potion is active. So it's actually really useful, and I will be using it for a certain part of the game later on. And it's really, really helpful. And wow, we have a whole fleet right here. And as soon as I say that, they leave us. Okay. Now, the next, the next goddess chest is over there, and I'll meet you... Wait, what? 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. What was... What in the world? Did you see that? For some reason it says that we... There's another goddess chest over there. Um... Where is it? Um, this is really strange. Is there one down here? Oh, there is another one here. Okay. Um, I'll take it. I didn't know there was another one here, and I'm glad I looked. So, interesting. I forgot that this was here. And we get a life medal, which... Did I explain that before? I'm not sure if I explained that before. I think I showed it on screen, but I don't think it. I explained it. What the life metal does is also, um, just a second, zoom in, place a beacon right there. Don't ask why, just accept it, okay? That island is important later. Okay, um, the life metal. What it does is basically it gives you another heart container. There are only 18 full heart containers that you can get in this game, but in addition to those, you can get 
the life med medals, which will bring you up to a 20 heart count. So you want to... So it, I personally, in my 100% completed file, I don't have life medals equipped because I don't see them as worth it. I would rather just have a potion in that spot that can restore 8 hearts to all of them. So I personally don't use them. I may in this LP though, I, I may switch it up. So uh, like I said, there's an island over there. It is that island and I'll meet you over there. And let's dive, dive, dive. Oh, I tried to land in the pool, but I failed. Okay, so if we go ahead and dive down here, we can leap up. And inside will be some mushrooms and night. You're bugging me. No, you no night. Don't don't cry. <sighs> you're silly. Okay, in here will be some mushrooms and a treasure chest, which contains a heart medal. Which this I consider more worth it than um than the life medal, because you know, oh fairy, but we don't need one. I'll get it anyway. Come on. Okay, um, I consider it more worth it than the life medal. Because if you think about it, you kill an enemy and you get, say, two hearts out of him. Whereas, he hits you and it removes a whole heart. So, personally, I don't... I find the heart medals more worth it. In fact, I think we have one equipped. I'm not sure. Well, when we go see the item check girl, we'll... Uh, Beatrice and go flirt with her then um, then we'll see what we have and by me saying flirt with her I literally mean flirt though not in the standard every single person in the world's definition of flirt this is in Beatrice's and uh, actually her father's definition of flirt which is uh, which is utilize her business and do it a lot because she, her business is very useful and apparently that's seen as flirting to her family I don't know it's it's in the it's in the script as I say whenever something in a movie doesn't make sense okay so we're gonna go ahead inside go ahead and equip our shield we're going to fix it this episode, but also we're going to keep it on until we have to go back down to the surface because it took a lot of damage, so it didn't get all that much screen time. But let's see, what do we have? Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of a heart medal because we have enough hearts to last us a long time. Oh, you, you came to see me. I'm so happy. That's right. I definitely came to see you because I need you to store my items. You make me so happy. I think I'm going to keel over. Please don't. Lately, when I think about you, my head gets all fuzzy. My heart races. I get short of breath. And I feel all dizzy. Um. Let's see. I'm trying to explain what the cause of this is. I'm thinking allergies. Maybe. You don't think this... Could this be... Sounds bad. Or... Yep, it's love. Um, I'm gonna say, yep, it's love, because I'm pretty sure it's love. Which could also be presumed as allergies. Ah, I can't believe you said it out loud. It's so embarrassing. Whoops, kind of forgot myself there. Back to work! Now, where was I? Oh yeah, I was going to ask you if you wanted me to take care of you forever. <laughs> oh! Oh, that's funny. Uh, just throw in that last part. Yes, please. <laughs> really? That makes me so happy. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry. I need to learn how to keep these delirious dreams in check. Yep, you're delirious. No, wait. Ah, I mean, are there some items you want me to check? Darling? <laughs> oh, I love this girl. I hope you're not in a hurry to go, sweetie. <laughs> uh... Let's see, um, she kind of threw me off guard. Actually, let's go ahead and swap this out, since we've had this bottle so long that I think it's fermented, and it'll get Link drunk. And, 
Uh, we want this, right? Yeah, we want this. Put that here. Just for the time being, till we can upgrade it and stuff. <laughs> See you next time, T. <laughs> uh, I love that girl. I, I kind of wish Fee came... Ooh, just a second. Ignore that for a second. I kind of wish Fee would come out and be like, <laughs> Master, you're, you're bl there's a 90% chance that the blushing you have... Never mind. Master Link, this treasure chest-like object... What? Um... Okay, uh, Fee... One, I'm pretty sure you've said this already, and two... We've been opening these for... ever. Okay, well, whatever, Fee. These are, this is one of your moments when you're just not helpful at all. Although, 300 rupees is helpful. And I kind of, and we kind of got, we didn't get our full amount, but I kind of think we just robbed him, because this looks like his chest here, and we robbed him. Um, but as I was saying, well, actually, what does, what does Fee say about her? No, I don't care. Okay, not her, about her. This is Beatrice, the sweet girl whose occupation of storing items provides little. In Intellectual intellectual stimulation. You can store items with her at the bazaar. Due to her boredom, she often daydreams of, of meeting her ideal male counterpart, resulting in a, a precipitous drop in the quality of her customer service. I'll say. Also, before, when she wasn't all swoony, also, I'm, point I'm stabbing her through the chest, but when she wasn't all swoony, she would hold her hands in the shape of a heart. And also, that's a keyhole, because she's trying to find, like, someone to unlock the door of her heart. I don't know. I'm just being kind of kooky this episode, and I, I love it. Hey kid, how's Scrapper treating you? Anything to upgrade today? Up. Upgrade, repair, shield. I'll do that off screen. Upgrade, bro. You got it. These are all the items you have that I can upgrade right now. Okay, uh, we can upgrade our bow. Let's see, what does this require? Three tumbleweeds, and we have eight, and a hundred rupees. Oh, yes, we can upgrade our bow, by the way. And this only requires three. Can we do both? Three monster claws. Three monster claws. Gross. Um, well, I have a feeling that we're going to be getting another Monster Claw this episode because we're going to have to spend some time in the night time. So I think that this is our best bet to do this. And see if we can do it again. Yep, and I'll cut this. Cut the loading time. Okay, and next, okay, we can upgrade it to the Sacred Bow right now, but I actually don't want to, because then we're just going straight to the best thing possible. Also, that, that bow looks something straight, like something straight out of Kid Icarus Uprising. Okay, um, can, we can't upgrade this, okay. So that's it for now, and we're going to continue, what? A report master, what is she... Because of the improvement to your sword, you can now use your dowsing ability to locate treasure. Oh, okay. Please use the additional entry in your dowsing target list as at your leisure and convenience. Okay, so now that we have an upgraded sword, we can now search for more targets. I'm going to repair this real quick. Be right back. Okay, so we are repaired. Well, not we, not us, but our shield is. Our shield is repaired. Yay! whoopee ki yay I'm going to take it off for now. Um, I will meet you in the night time to do what we need to do. Then it will be... Then we'll wrap things up, because I have no idea how long this episode is. And I think it's going to be a long episode regardless, because it's running on 34 minutes of recording right now. But I think it's going to be more like 27 right now. So, yeah. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go to nighttime, and hopefully we can finish up the Fledge quest. Not the Fetch quest, the Fledge quest. Hopefully. And 
Knight is being much better behaved, which I'm glad. Oh, now he heard me talking about him, and he's wondering what's going on. Yeah, he's the black German Shepherd that I mentioned before. In fact, at the end of this episode, I'm actually going to have him do a trick that we taught him. So you can look forward to that. It's really cute, and hopefully you can hear it. Fledge. May Fledge finally be buff and strong. Uh, until night. Oh yeah! Oh boy! You're on fire, man. I'll, I'll stop pointing my sword at you. You're on fire. And actually, it would have been funny if the treasure gauge went off. Man, look at him. He's doing good. Man, he's not even tired. Okay, let's talk to him instead of just looking at him creepily. 3,985... 3,986, 3,987, 3,988. Man! <laughs> Whew, that was a nice warm- What? Um, that's- That's a lot of push-ups, bro. I'm not gonna compare how many I can do, because I don't know how many I can do. Hey, Link, I was just hoping you'd come by. I wanted to ask you something. The other day, I tried lifting up some barrels, and I was able to do it with one arm. Do you think that means I've gotten enough muscle? What do you think, Link? Do I look strong? You don't look strong, but you are strong. Um, too strong? No. I mean, he's... Get stronger, bro. Also, he's just exercising his back and arms. He needs to start exercising his legs. In fact... <gasps> oh my... Wait just a second. Really? Thanks, I'm so happy. It's all thanks to you, Link. I would have gotten discouraged if you hadn't come by to cheer me on. You gave me motivation. Thank you so much, Link. Oh my word, I just thought of something. He looks like the running man. Doesn't he? He looks sort of like the running running man from Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess. And also Minish Cap, and I don't know how many other games. <laughs> He's looking at us like, what are you doing? But he looks like the running man. In fact, that's... I wonder if he's, if that's his origin, or not origin, that's what he was based off of. That's cool. Okay, well, we'll leave you alone. Stop being creepy. Okay, so we have gratitude crystals to get, and people to see. So, the first off, now that we have the claw shots, now, really, now we can access the rest of the secrets in Skyloft, which is really cool. I'm pretty sure all the secrets... Go ahead and roll over here. Actually, rolling is faster than running inside, so you want to do that. Okay, so we're just going to get the gratitude crystals, then that's going to be it. And I'll have Knight do that fun thing. Okay. Gonna go ahead and run. Now, you can, you can get Fee to douse for gratitude crystals, though I'm not exactly sure how. I'm really hoping that our treasure medal pays off and I get a, uh, and I get a sharpened fang or whatever they're called. Ow. Be nice. Okay, are you going to give me something? I'm going to get the whip out. No. Okay, do you have something for me? Please say yes. No. This is discouraging me. Do you have something for me? No. Can I kill the bugs with this? Oh, I can, and that's horrible. Okay, so where we want to go first is to kill this keys. And he didn't drop anything. Okay. We're going to go in and... Run over here. And there are some vines that we can claw shot to. So we want to do that. And there you are. No treasure. What about you, sir? Well, you volunteered, but what about you? Nothing. Okay, so where we can go is we can claw shots here. And actually, before we get too far, there's a chest over there which we want to get. But first, let's get up here because 
I don't think we can we can I don't think we can reach it from here. Okay, we're gonna jump up here. And we can jump down from here. And drop. Now that we have this, I don't know what this is, honestly. It might be a piece of heart. Gold Ruby, which we didn't need, and I wish I hadn't gotten. Well, we have enough rupees. If I, if the other goddess chest has a gold rupee, I don't really care. I'm sorry, but I just don't care, because we have a ton of rupees. So we're going to jump up here, and claw shot back up there. Now, this is useful for both a gratitude crystal quest and also for treasure, so you want to do both. Now, there's a gratitude crystal there. Now, that's the first... Where is it? There it is. I was looking for the beetle. Now, I'm not sure where the other gratitude crystal is, and that frightens me. I'm, I honestly have no clue. I know we have to reach it with the claw shot. Ooh, and I can show off a cer another secret. Okay, so now we have that. Now there is a statue here, a Sheikah stone. We talk to it. Boing oing. It's going to give us a goddess plume. Wow. Okay, so it'll give us a goddess plume, but what else will he say? And we have four of them, which is neat. Okay, what do you have to say? You're a weird one climbing all the way up here. Hey, if you tried to dive off the ledge here, I bet you could land in the nest on top of the tower down there. But what do I know? I'm just a stone. <laughs> uh, I like that comment. So, you want to take his advice and dive down here, and quickly maneuver over here, land on the top. And a little while back, I believe I mentioned that the, the potion dealer's husband... Um, was up late at night with, like, his kid, and he was, wasn't getting good night's sleep. Well, now that we've gotten the rattle, that is what he needs. Piper's house, Oriel, Pippet, potion shop owner, Birdie. So we wouldn't go see Birdie's husband. Go ahead and dive, and up. Oh, there we go. Go ahead and run over to them right in here. And we can get another five gratitude crystals by talking to them. Hey, buddy, how's it going? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Sigh. Ah, doesn't look like I'll get much sleep tonight again. Are you tired? Well, you can see what my nights are like, right? The baby just goes on and on like this all night. I haven't slept a wink in... Ah, uh, I don't even know how long. The baby usually sleeps like a sack of rocks. But that, that that's not an expression. It's dumb as a bag of rocks. Anyway. But that was before we lost the you-know-what. Oh, that? Oh, you know about it. Yes, the baby's rattle. If we, if we had the you-know-what, then the baby would settle down. But we lost it the other day. A bird picked it up in its beak and flew off with it. Maybe the bird thought it was food. I don't know. Of course, the bird wouldn't have eaten it, but I think it must still still be it. Ugh. So I think it must still be in town. I just don't know where. Sigh. Or ha. Uh, it sure would be nice if someone would find it for me. Okay. Is that the baby's rattle? You found it. Who's a sleepy baby? Time for Betty Bye. Uh, that child. Phew. The the baby seems to have settled down nicely. I bet the baby will sleep well tonight, and they haven't named it, I just realized. They haven't named their child. <laughs> okay. Whatever floats your boat. Ah, uh, oh, that means I'll finally get a good night's sleep too. Thank you so much. I won't forget what you did did for me. And there are our gratitude crystals. And next episode. Okay, next episode. We will finish up the side, the remaining side quests in Skyloft. But, I, as I told you, I'll have my German Shepherd do that thing. Knight, come here. Knightly, come here. Up. Come here, bud. Come here. Okay. Come here, Knight. Come. Good boy.
set. Hopefully you guys can hear this. Ready? Night. Sing! Sing! Sing, bud! <laughs> Good boy. Ow! That was a good one, bud. Sing. Good boy. Good boy, hum. That wasn't a hum. Just a second. Night. Night. Sit. No. No. Shh. Night. Hum. Good boy. Okay. One more for the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I really do mean that. You guys are the reason why I'm happy in these episodes, because I know that I'm actually recording something for someone to watch it. So, thank you, and next time we'll do more side quests. Until then, night, sing, sing! Good boy. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you then. Yeah, you're a good boy. You did good, you're on the internet now. You're on the internet. You're a good boy. Kisses. Good boy. You licked the mic. <laughs> uh, you're a goofy dog.